That was taken actually in 1953 and was taken by a photographer who was on the train that day. He was over with a bunch of uh, railway enthusiasts from the UK and they were on the train and were here for the full week. But on the way out to Rigna, the train collided with a, a car that got stuck on the line just out at, at about a mile from town here. The train saw the car, but couldn't stop. It was only going about eight or nine miles an hour. So it tilted it over on its side. The two passengers, two brothers from Arigna, um got out, and apart from being shaken, they were not hurt at all. And eventually they got the car cleared, and the line was reopened. There was no closing for a week or ten days, or no, no forensic experts coming in to see what happened. But those men who were there now, they're all in their tweed suits, and they were real railway enthusiasts, and their main interest was the engines. And that particular engine there now is the Lady Edith, which is still around and in uh, Monmouth in New Jersey, in a museum there. But that particular uh, train there is, 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 is it's, it's an iconic picture, really. And we were kids, home from school, and the word came into town, the train had crashed into a car. So we cycled out to the scene. We couldn't get that close to it. We were up over at the track, but I remember all the crowds there, and we were trying to see it, but we were shifted and sent home. But nobody was killed, and it is a marvellous picture.